everybody, it's Elle or Ariel. I am back again for another bump day. Yay! So as you guys can see, I am wearing my Thanksgiving shirt. I realize the little bump saying is out of the frame right now, which I know is super depressing, but I could not wrangle with my camera anymore. Last week, as you can tell, I'm in the same position. Last week, it took me forever to get like somewhat decent lighting because it's so dark here in November in Boston, Massachusetts. So I'm like, I'm not finagling with this. So I will just insert a little clip of me holding up the shirt before I put it on just so you guys can see what it says over the bump. And I made the shirt myself. Actually, I was inspired by other shirts, but they were all so expensive that I just started to make the shirt myself, DIY it, and I just bought some iron transfers and made like the little thing on Microsoft Word and printed it out and yeah I just really wanted a Thanksgiving shirt for the bump. <laughs> Alright guys so I am officially 19 weeks pregnant and happy almost Thanksgiving or so it's sometime around the American holiday of Thanksgiving. I know that much but I don't know when I'll be able to edit this and get this up so happy sometime around Thanksgiving week to all of you. I'm really excited about this holiday. I love Thanksgiving because it's a time to spend um, with family without like you know needing to worry about gifts and and all of that. So anyways I'm really excited about this week and I have already started feeling a little bit better. I am still dealing with exhaustion that still hasn't gone away even with all of my happy light and all of that. I'm just going to keep trucking through. I know this will probably pass. I mean, I bet like in two weeks or whatever when I make my pump day, I'd be like, I feel so much better. But for right now, I have definitely been dealing with exhaustion. So the crazy thing is I never got my compression socks. So I was prescribed compression socks, I went on my online patient portal, it even says per, under prescriptions compression socks, it says like the strength and the pharmacy and ever, everything, and this pharmacy, I'm not going to like rat them out because I don't want to like give them bad business or whatever, but I was so upset because I purposely picked this pharmacy, they are half an hour away, like they're not even close to us, they're close to pharmacies. But they had amazing reviews online that everyone was super helpful and they got their prescriptions on time and they do a delivery service and like everyone loved this pharmacy. And I have had the worst service there ever, unfortunately. I went there to be measured. I think I mentioned this a couple weeks ago. And so I got measured for my compression socks and they never showed up and they said, oh, we need like a diagnosis for you to get compression socks and I was like okay well my diagnosis is pregnancy <laughs> and I have swollen feet and they were like well we need it from your midwife and I was like okay so I told my midwife that and she said that she would call them and so she called them I guess and they did whatever they had to do I never heard back from this pharmacy I even asked them I said can you call me when everything goes through they never did and I even paid extra for shipping. I think I paid $8 for shipping when I went there. And I said, can you just ship them to me? Because I don't want to have to drive back here. The driving there was terrible. Because it's in this part of Boston that's really hard to get to. And hard to park at. So I was just like, can you please just ship them to me like when they come? and Or when everything works out. And it never did. <clears throat> so I have officially given up on the prescription compression socks. It really stinks and I'm kind of disappointed because I really was holding out hope that it would all work out and you know that my feet would be better <laughs> so um, ironically with the chiropractor he gave me a lot of exercises and some of them are for your feet because I said my feet have been hurting a lot and my feet are already actually feeling a little bit better so I know most of it is because of circulation and pregnancy and everything and not just like, you know, your spine and whatever, but I'm sure some of it is. And so I have been um, looking online and I think I'm just going to buy myself some compression socks on like Amazon or whatever. And I'll make sure that I get like the prescription strength compression socks because you can get some like over the counter ones that are different brands and whatever. And they call themselves compression socks, but they're not really compression socks and so I have been looking online and I'm going to go ahead and buy myself some on there because I'm just super frustrated at this point and I am not going back to that store <laughs> and I'm not calling them again they even said that they would call them away for me and then they'd let me know and I was just honestly guys sorry but it has been a you know what show and I just can't deal with it anymore like I said I'm dealing with exhaustion I'm working over 40 hours a week 
I need to just like have these compression socks, have my feet feel better, and call it a day. So the other stuff going on, as I mentioned, my feet have been feeling a little bit better. My pelvis feels so much better after seeing the chiropractor. He really did align it really well, and I'm really happy with the results I've been seeing so far. I'm really happy with how I've been feeling. The exercises are amazing. It's basically like he wants me to do like a modified child's pose, and then basically some lunges, and basic like hip stretches, like forward fold and all the kind of stuff and he always said too he's like you know you don't have to push yourself it's just like a gentle stretching um and everything that he's assigned me is safe for pregnancy obviously and so that's been awesome and then in other news i made myself a pregnancy pillow so i know people out there said that it's not really needed and whatever um <clears throat> but i have been doing a little bit of research and it seems to be that people's like hips and pelvises seem to be aligned a little bit better when they use a pregnancy pillow and so I decided to just make one because I couldn't find one that I liked and I'll have to like take a picture of it or something it's hard to explain but basically what it is is it's basically a body pillow except that I cut out like a bump shape in the top half so that my bump fits in there and then um, and then I added in like a basically like another regular sized pillow down by my feet so there's enough space for me to like put my hips over it and then have my feet rest on the pillow as well so that everything is nice and aligned and I did that because I really love the pillow that I sleep on at night like my head pillow and I couldn't find any pregnancy pillows online that did not include that head part. Like they all were like C-shaped and stuff, but they, they like assumed you were gonna use it for your head and I don't. So that was not helpful. So I decided to make my own and it was really cheap to make my own too. Like I bought some stuffing for a couple bucks at like Walmart and then I bought some fabric for a couple bucks and then I bought a cover that I made myself. I just sewed myself a pillowcase basically for it um, that's opened on one end so I can still like wash the pillowcase out of like this really fluffy soft fabric and it has been amazing so far. <laughs> I am so happy with it. I come home from a night shift and my husband will be like shamelessly snuggling the body pillow. I'm like, is this my replacement? <laughs> like it's so funny. He's like, it's so comfy. I'm like, I know. I am a good body pillow maker <laughs> or pregnancy pillow maker. I've even had people be like, you should sell these on Etsy. I'm like, do you know how hard this would be to ship? Like how would you ship this giant massive pregnancy pillow I just I don't even know man <laughs> but uh but anyways that is what has been going on this week how are you guys feeling what do you think do you think I'm having a boy or a girl we will find out in 21 weeks hopefully if I deliver roughly near my due date then that's when we'll find out if it's a boy or a girl and yeah how are you guys doing did you guys hit in a, a wall of exhaustion have any of you seen a chiropractor and where are you in your journey um, but yeah, that's it for now guys, and if you like, subscribe. Happy Thanksgiving everybody! Bye!